Uh, I guess something else that's kind of been um, big news uh, this week, which luckily I don't have a lot of money in, but a f- like a bunch of people have um, lost money in crypto. Uh, the whole market has basically crashed. Um, I haven't wor- heard about this. So. Oh, it's it's bad. It's worse than um, the stock market. Uh, so part of it is just because it, it does the crypto market does follow trends with the regular stock market. Mm-hmm. So that's part of it. Um, part of the re- reason is because people uh, sold and some people are, were buying on leverage and not buying with actual cash and were borrowing money to buy stocks. And some people are using it to because crypto has done so well. Some people have put a lot of money into it and never necessarily pulled. So then now they're losing like all the money they made and life savings. Some people were using it to pay like mortgage and rent and have lost money. Um, I just saw a tweet the other day from KSI and he put, I think $3 million in Luna and literally I can't remember when, but now that $3 million is worth a thousand dollars. Luna crashed that bad. Like, I don't know what it original its price point was, but I think now it's literally worth pennies. Um, oh my gosh. Why did yeah. it drop so bad? I, I really don't know the full reason. I haven't kept up on it too much. I just kind of heard bits and pieces and I've seen some stuff. Um, I think one reason what caused the market to kind of crash worse was for some reason something happened with a certain stable coin which is basically a coin that's supposed to be backed by the US dollar. So no matter what, it's supposed to be worth one US dollar. Um, oh. And for some reason, a stable coin dropped and it got down to like 50 cents. So that, that'd be like uh, that'd be like the price of USD, like if just the US dollar's uh, w- worth just went way down um, all of a sudden. So it was kind of like that. So then it caused like a I think it kind of a chain reaction through the market, but I don't know the reason behind it. That that's part of it. I don't know if some of it is something to do with the company itself or what, but I do know a lot of people have lost a shit ton of money, but I guess uh, segue speaking of KSI and his crypto, him and Logan Paul have a uh, drink company. It's been out for a few months now. I don't know if you've actually, um, ever tried it but it's prime hydration okay i've heard about it i remember you telling me a lot about it so i sounded good it is good i've had it i've had a few flavors i haven't been able to try them all because when they first launched they sold out in an hour and i think even though they've only been officially started within the past couple months i think i don't they've sold I'm try- they sold over several, I think it was several million bo- bottles to companies before they even went public. And so at this point, they've sold probably tens of millions. But uh, I think just this week, they just now are shipping to the UK. So that's been something they've been working on, considering that's where KSI is based out of. Mm-hmm. And they came out with a new flavor already, and it's Ice Pop. So it's like the... Um, like, you know, the red, white, and blue popsicles yeah. that you get as a kid? That was yeah. what they based it off of. And they made Ooh, an ice pop flavor. That's good. And both in the UK and in the US, it sold out the first day. What's the macros on it? Uh, I mean, there's no, I don't think there's really any protein um, in it, but or any, I, I, I don't know exactly the macros off the top of my head. I did order some. I didn't get the new flavor because I'm pretty sure it's already sold out. But they did have their website restocked, so I did get a few cases of a few of their flavors. Um, but I think it's like, I mean, it's a pretty cool drink. I think it, its best comparison and what it is um, is kind of like body armor, except okay. with basically no sugar and barely any calories in comparison. Because you can drink a body armor and it has like 300 calories or something ridiculous if you drink it's the whole so bottle. Much sugar. Yeah. So much sugar. <laughs> So I think it's I think it's like ten percent, uh, coconut water. You got your BCAAs in there. You got other electrolytes and whatever else. Um, I think they have they have five flavors. I think it's like twenty calories, no added sugars or coloring or anything like that. Mm. And I mean it's it's pretty good. Like it's 
I'm trying to think what the best comparison is. Like, it's definitely better than Gatorade. I feel like with what it has in it and taste wise, and it's let like alone it's hardly any calories. Uh, it's okay. it's stronger tasting than Propel. Like it has a it, okay. considering there's not a lot of sugar and calories in it. It is a pretty strong beverage. It's not like super watered down. Like it it definitely has flavor to it. But it's it's not bad. It's not bad. But yeah, they've they've been doing pr- pretty well. I I mean. It, it was, I've only tried a few of their flavors, so when I saw that they had some on their website, I was like, well, I might have to buy a few. <laughs> but, I'll have to try them. I'll have to try to find where they sell them. Um, check. At least here. Maybe, uh, yeah, I don't know. Walmart. I mean, they, 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 they're they supposed to be selling them at Walmart, but I don't know, obviously, with your situation. My Walmart is slacking. Yeah, uh, I know they have them at some GNCs or vitamin shops. Um, yeah, they don't have them at the vitamin shops. <laughs> I haven't been in one in a while, so maybe they restocked it. I don't know. And then not only that, but also something that I guess actually technically happened last week. Um, but I don't know if you would have heard about this because you're not in Indiana at the moment. So it's kind of a topic. I actually heard about it on another podcast didn't know a whole lot about it and then kind of heard more and realized that it was actually, I mean, it wasn't local, but there was a prison escape last week and it, no, I think it was actually from Alabama. Let me, uh, something, something along those lines. So, okay. So the thing is that it, they ended up in Indiana so the whole backstory behind it was this guy I'm pretty sure was on a life sentence or death row for a murder. And Ooh. basically a security guard, um, or, um, what, what, what are they called? Security guard. I, there's different words. Uh, <laughs> but you know what I mean? No idea. Uh, I, I think this, I know what you mean. This chick fell in love with him or something oh. and i think they hooked oh. up why he was in prison oh wait and yeah, she I broke him this. out yeah i heard about this yeah yeah so th- this happened okay so okay so she was 56 um and she broke him out of jail uh don't know what his name is it was Vicky White and uh Vicky White and man, what what is his name? I'll, I'll look it up. Ah, I can't find his name anywhere. Why can't I find his name? So okay, so the, so she, f- I guess, fell in love with him. Something along those lines. She broke him out of prison. Beforehand, she already knew what she was gonna do. She sold her house, so they had a bunch of money, and broke him out of prison and was on the run. And they made their way up to Evansville, and that's when they kind of got caught f- by police. Um, so the the pair led a federal and local law enforcement on a multi-state manhunt that lasted 11 days. After gaining intel, the couple was staying in a local Motel 41. Police who were surveilling the building spotted the pair leaving, and a police chase ensued. And Vanderbilt County Sheriff Dave Wedding said on Tuesday. So, I mean, we know people from that county. I mean, I, I've been through Evansville a few times. That's only a few hours south of me. And uh, so it led into a shootout, um, whatever else. And uh, he, uh, I think they got the prisoner and she ended up committing suicide. And she shot herself oh, with man. a pistol. Yeah. Um, Dang, that's and this all, and this all happened, uh, in or outside of Evansville, uh, just the other, other day, I think last Monday or not even that dude, the guy I'm looking at a picture of him. He has some big ears. Yeah. So, okay. So he, I, okay. So here's some more. He, he was, uh, extradited from Indiana to Florence, Alabama, where he appeared before a judge before he was transferred to William E. Dunson Correctional Facility. In the months before the escape, Vicky sold her home 
for about half of what she could have gotten and alleged had about $90,000 in cash when she and Casey fled uh, April 29th was due to be her last day before retirement. So she was going to retire and then she decided to do this and break him out of prison. And that he was facing charges including... So he's facing charges including forgery, identity theft, permitting and aiding an escape or she she is or yeah she is but i guess she's dead now so i don't think that matters yeah that's what she was facing but yeah so this all happened and uh, i actually thought when i first read about it i thought this was this happened in evansville like i thought they were from evansville and i was like oh crap something's actually happening in our state that's kind of that's kind of cool that's kind of cool we're getting put on the map yeah, you know, a little in the bit. Best way. No, yeah. makes it interesting. I mean, at least we got something to talk about besides corn and soybeans and some windmills. True. I mean, hey, we are the the meth supplier for the country, so we big are. up Indiana. Yeah, you didn't know that. I bet it's it weird. comes from Anderson, doesn't it? I, it comes from basically everywhere in Indiana. <laughs> I don't in, know that. Yeah, Indiana is the meth capital of the country. I had no idea. Yeah, we, we are we are the number one for meth labs and number one for high school basketball players. I have so much to brag about now. When people <laughs> ask me where I'm from, I'm like, <laughs> listen, like, I am from the meth capital of the world. We, we have, have some pretty good the best. Players, but meth. We, oh, we have the best meth. <laughs> we 